Newborns typically resemble their parents, but occasionally some babies are so unusual that it's hard to believe they've come from their parents. Whether slimy, jelly-like, or blind and naked, today we've compiled a list of strange animal babies that will leave you scratching your head. Look at this gorilla holding a grayish-pink baby barely covered with hair. A very rare footage recorded a few years back in Washington, D.C., where a mother western lowland gorilla, after 257 days of gestation, was preparing to give birth. It usually takes less than half an hour for a mother to deliver her baby, and she knows what to do. While lying on her back, she pushes the baby out, and after bringing the newborn into the world, Mama Gorilla will clean it up and hold him tight in her arms. This baby gorilla is so adorable, it's hard to believe it will grow up to be a powerful animal. Baby Orangutan This soon-to-be mother orangutan at the Durrell Wildlife Conservation has carried the baby for about 259 days and is ready for delivery. It's out. It's out. As the infant comes out into the world, the new mother cuts the umbilical cord, cleans it all on her own, and the baby looks slimy and wobbles a lot as it requires its mother's support. After delivery, the new mother takes her newborn to a higher place as she would in the wild to protect from predators. Orangutan mothers are considered the champs of breastfeeding as they nurse their newborn for up to seven years, longer than any primate. Albino Gator A couple of years back, an albino alligator laid eggs in wild Florida making them the only zoo on the planet to successfully breed albino alligators. After about two months of incubation, four baby albino alligators hatched and were the only survivors out of the 19 eggs. Albinism in alligators is extremely rare. It's caused by some congenital condition, due to which their bodies can't produce pigments to give the alligators their natural color. These lizard-looking babies were not able to survive in the wild due to their lack of camouflage and sunlight-sensitive skin. So, they were kept in a glass case to thrive in captivity. Jelly Babies This pet hamster has been pregnant for about 19 days and is ready to deliver her babies. At first, she struggles to push the babies out and seems to know what she's doing as she doesn't acquire assistance. The newborns are tiny, reddish, and completely hairless. This little mammal gives birth to babies, cleans them, and starts feeding them. They'll continue to feed from their mother until they're 26 days old. Chimp Baby This chimpanzee at a Chinese zoo has been cut off from its group and wants to deliver her baby in complete isolation as it's waited for almost 18 months. Unlike humans, this chimpanzee does not need anyone to assist with the birth. As we've seen, many mammals' newborns mostly don't look like their parents, but infant chimps are miniature versions of their parents, as they are born with black hair covering their bodies. After birth, the infant gets cleaned up and the new mother keeps it close to her, as it is very fragile. She'll nurse them for about five years. Both of them spend lots of time together to develop a strong bond. Kune Kune Piglets After carrying its baby for 116 days, this Kune Kune pig on a farm in Arizona is all set to give birth. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right after the first piglet is out, it keeps on going and brings five more piglets to the world because this breed can have a litter of up to 12 piglets. All six newborns have different spot patterns and skin colors than their mother with a light coat of hair. Now, as babies are born, the mama pig will lay down and start feeding her young ones. These cute babies will be nursed for about 10 to 12 weeks. Otter Infant Here, a small claw otter has been struggling to deliver her litter after carrying them for about 70 days. The mother seems to be in great pain, but she doesn't give up she gives birth to twins. After delivering the first baby, she tries to get her owner to take the baby, but doing so will cause the new mother to give up childcare. So the owner doesn't interfere, and the mama otter tends to her newborn. The baby is born with a lighter shade. Later, she delivers the second baby as well. 
Both of the babies are born with a lighter shade than their mother. She feeds them and will continue to do so for about 14 weeks. Monkey-Faced Piglet A few years back, a Chinese piglet acquired quite a lot of attention from the locals as well as worldwide animal enthusiasts. This piglet was born with a face similar to a monkey's, giving it an unusual appearance. Due to its strange mouth shape, the newborn was unable to feed from its mother, so the owner had to bottle feed it. Unfortunately, this special baby couldn't survive long and passed away after a few days. The actual cause of the deformity is still unknown. However, scientists believe that environmental pollution might be the reason behind this. Alien Owlets Now this might look like an alien invasion, but it's not. These are just some other unusual looking babies that are a must have to add here. Standing in the corner with pitch black eyes, these are the owlets of barn owls. The female lays eggs which, after a month, hatch, inviting furless babies to see the world. Though born to fluffy parents, these outlets look strange and different. However, their bodies will be coated with thick feathers within three weeks and will gain a heart-shaped face just like their parents. Cyclops Puppy Something doesn't seem right with this puppy. With just one eye and huge lips resembling a monkey's mouth, this puppy looks very strange. This dog was born as a twin in Thailand and made headlines because of its unique appearance, which was the result of a genetic mutation. The other puppy of the twin pair was perfectly normal. What caused this mutation in just one of the puppies is still unknown. The mutant puppy was struggling to nurse from its mother, so the kind owner bottle fed it. Such Cyclops puppies don't survive for long, but we sure hope this unique puppy had the chance to grow up. Slimy Babies Have a look at this slimy, shiny, hairless baby that has just hatched from an egg. This tiny jelly bean looking creature is nothing but a newborn platypus that is entirely different from its mother. The mother platypus, after a gestation period of about 21 days, lays eggs that almost hatch after 10 days. The infant born is called a puggle and has teeny tiny eyes, a flat head, and silky smooth skin. They are born without fur, which makes them look non-identical but they develop thick fur after being in their mother's care for about four months, after which they swim off and forage on their own. Glossy Babies The glossy pink toy-like baby this massive panda is holding is its newborn, which she had delivered after going through a labor of three days. Baby pandas are one of the smallest babies born to a mammal and are born with hairless skin, which makes them look entirely different from their parents. But the white fur starts to appear after 48 hours, followed by black patches. This panda cub will stay with its mother for warmth and safety and will become independent from its mother after about five months. Elephant Birth You might be wondering why this mother is kicking her newborn like this. Well, it might sound weird, but this is just a push. A knock to make sure the baby is conscious. This helps the calf to stand up and take its first shaky steps under her mother's supervision. All three elephants have had their babies within minutes, very fast, no fuss, no bother. Female elephants hold the record for the longest gestation period among all living mammals, carrying their babies for approximately 12 months. While the birthing process may pose challenges for the mother, the agony dissipates upon a successful delivery. The newborn calf resembles a miniature version of its parents, but is notably hairy and dark in color. The calf will remain with its mother until it matures into a six-month-old adolescent. Rhino Calf This rhino birth was a sign of hope for the endangered species and was recorded at Wild Rhino Sanctuary in South Africa. After 16 months of pregnancy, this female is ready to deliver the baby. As the wobbly newborn is out, its mother lies down and lets the calf get familiar with her. 
Oh, she just can't deny me. <gasps> the newborn looks mostly like its mother. The only difference is that it does not have a horn, but it'll grow one after some time. Fire Salamander. Who gives birth to their young ones in the most unusual way? The answer is the fire salamander. This species of amphibians have different breeding cycles for different habitats. They either lay eggs or they give live birth. Here, this fire salamander was captured giving live birth. She has carried the eggs for about five months and lay them within her uterus where they develop and hatch. Then the mother will deliver her babies live. She looks for a reservoir with clean water and is safe for the babies. The newborns are covered with a protective jelly-like layer. The mother delivers them and leaves. They don't look after their newborn any further. Pango Pups Pangolins are famous for the hard scales covering their entire bodies. Their babies are also born with these scales. Boy, how painful it's gotta be for the female pangolins to deliver such scaly babies. Well, don't worry, nature has a plan for that as well. The pango pups are conceived for about five months and are born with faded, white, soft scales so that the mother wouldn't be hurt while giving birth. These scales harden after a few days. The mother will now feed them for three months and to protect the pango pups from predators, they'll carry the newborns on their tail. Beans Joey. No, this isn't another platypus baby. It's a kangaroo's embryo. This deaf and blind pink fetus pops out and manages to find its way into its mother's pouch. Once inside the pouch, it starts feeding from one of the nipples. The embryo will remain latched for about 34 weeks. After this period, the fully developed kangaroo will leave its mother's pouch, but will keep on feeding from its mother for about four months. The mother takes great care of her babies and protects them from any harm. This unusual birth procedure just shows how diverse the animal kingdom is. Massive baby. These river horses live on both land and in water, but females prefer to give birth underwater. This female hippo was captured giving birth in the wild in Kenya in complete isolation. Oh, baby's coming out. She was seen struggling to push the baby out in the water and eventually gets underwater to let the infant come out. This small yet massive newborn is a complete replica of its father who was waiting for his newborn while standing on the shore. Baby Walrus. A few years back, this footage of a new life being born was recorded in a Belgian zoo, where a mother walrus was found giving birth to a mini version of herself. The baby is ashen gray with soft, short fur, but will turn to tawny brown within weeks. Walruses are very protective for their calves, and this female will nurse her newborn for about two years. Strange Crea. Now have a look at this alpaca giving birth. After a gestation of about 11 months, she wants the baby to be delivered as soon as possible. And after a little effort, the newborn comes out. This Crea looks entirely different from its woolly brown mother, as it is whitish and lacks its soft, silky fleece. Now, as the Crea is born, the tired mother lies down and will stay with her baby until both of them get familiar with each other. Although baby alpacas can stand up and walk on their own within the first hour of birth, a Crea will stay by its mother until it's weaned, which is around five to six months. This is why we keep you guys separate for the first little bit. <laughs> Alien cat babies. Have a look at this sphinx cat, also known as the alien cat, giving birth to three kittens. The cat has been pregnant for about 70 days. She gives birth at a clinic with the help of the staff. The cat seemed to be in pain as she pushed the kittens out. She takes time in between each kitten's birth. Her babies are just like her in appearance, with no hair and wrinkly faces. She's a responsible mother as she looks after her babies as soon as they're out of her womb. The new mother will begin nursing her three kittens for about eight to 12 weeks. 
Sumatran Tiger Cub. A few years back at San Diego Zoo, a Sumatran tigress was captured giving birth after going through a long labor pain. Although this is not something very extraordinary, this delivery was believed to be extremely remarkable because these three cubs are among those endangered species where just 350 animals are left in the world. The newborn cubs are tiny, but already have prominent stripe patterns on their skin. And now, as they've been born healthy, zookeepers will ensure to babysit the imperiled newborns. Dwarf Quintuplets Goats might seem like just some cattle animals, but they're also really strong. Well, strong enough to give birth to five kids at a time. This Nigerian dwarf goat has been pregnant for about 150 days, and she's now going into labor. Come on, Bo. Come on. Just watch the front. Of the there you go. There we go. The farm workers assist her in taking care of her kid. She gave birth to a total of five baby goats, two of which have fur similar to their mother, while the other three have black fur, making them seem different. The mother keeps her tiny babies close to her and nurses them immediately and will do so for around four months. Giraffe Calf Here, the labor has been going on for hours and this female giraffe wants the baby out of her belly as soon as possible. The mother chooses a remote place to give birth to protect the newborn from predators and gives birth while standing up. You might think the baby falling on the ground could hurt it, but let me tell you one thing here. The long pregnancy of 15 months ensures that the infant is well developed and allows it to stand up and take shaky steps right after birth. The calf inherits its mother's exact spot patterns and looks very much like them. The new mama will nurse the baby for about 9 to 12 months. Zebra Birth In Chester Zoo, the zebra was captured giving birth. She's carried the baby for about 12 months and chose to give birth around her herd, but she doesn't need any assistance. Zebra calves look slightly different from its mother at birth, as it has brown and white stripes that will later change into black and white. Just like giraffe calves, zebra foals are also able to walk and move around within the first hour of birth. Oh. <laughs> this newborn will stay with his mother to get familiar with her sound and smell so that it can easily recognize her among the group. The loving mother makes sure her foal is safe for about 10 to 16 months, or until it can fend for itself. Chameleon Curved Balls This chameleon was captured sitting on a branch for a special purpose. This reptile is soon going to be a mother. She'd carried the babies for around five months, and now is moving forward to deliver the hatchlings. This mama gave birth to 14 babies just like curved balls that later unveils into tiny, pale lizards with amazing camouflage abilities. Chameleons are not exactly known for their remarkable parenting. They give birth and leave their offspring to fend for themselves. Baby Sloth This female sloth is giving birth to her baby after a gestation period of six months. Sloths give births in a very unusual manner. This sloth was captured giving birth in the wild. The mama sloth carries the baby for 182 days and likes to isolate herself when the delivery time is near, where she climbs on a tall tree and pushes the pup out of her body while hanging from the tree. As soon as the newborn is out, the mother catches and grooms it. The baby is born with fully formed teeth sharp claws, and enough strength to cling to their mother's chest as she moves through the trees for the next six months. Rattlesnakelets Watch this mother rattlesnake giving live birth to her babies. Yeah, some snakes give live birth to their young. During her 90-day gestation period, female rattlesnakes keep the eggs inside their body until they hatch. Then they give live birth. The newborns are basically miniature adults, equipped with fangs and venom, but no rattles. Instead of rattles, they're born with a small scale at the tip of their tail called a button. 
the mother doesn't look after her newborns for a long time, and the babies wander off to look for their own place to call home. Fluffy Baby This polar bear has been expecting her baby for about eight long months at the Berlin Wildlife Park. She gives birth under supervision of the keepers, but doesn't need any assistance. As soon as the baby is delivered, the mother keeps the tiny baby close to her to keep it warm. The newborn polar bear is born small, with closed eyes, and its fur so fine that it almost looks hairless. The mother polar bear will now feed her cub for about 30 months. Some polar bears leave nursing at 18 months, but still stick to their mothers for the full 30. Rare Twin Foals a couple years back, a mare was going into labor after 11 months of tiring pregnancy. The owner arrived at the farm to witness the delivery. But the owner became anxious as she saw the first foal was really small, and the mother was still uncomfortable even after delivery. Then, the owner noticed that the mare was going into labor again, and was shocked after finding another baby coming out. It was almost an impossible case. But this mare gave birth to healthy twin foals. The mother nursed her babies for about a month, stayed by their sides, and took great care of them. <laughs> Kiwi Egg Known for their small size and for being flightless, these tiny birds have to lay eggs as large as an ostrich's. The size of a kiwi's egg is about 15 to 20% their entire body weight. As the egg is inside their body, it takes up all the space, leaving no room for food in the abdomen. Females take care of the eggs while starving herself. The male kiwi stays near his mate, so he's the one who incubates the egg for about three months. Unlike other birds, kiwis are born with full feathers, and they're able to take care of themselves from the moment they're hatched, making them independent. Scaly Babies Similar to pangolins, porcupines have a thick coat of huge, sharp spines all over their bodies. This female porcupine has been pregnant for almost three months and is about to give birth. It seems the birth is going to be extremely painful for the mother, as the porcupets also have their spines. But nature has designed the porcupets' spines in such a way that they're soft during birth and start to harden as time goes by. The spines are these rodents' only defense against predators. The newborn will be in the care of its mother for about four months and leave their side once it's able to fend for itself. Dog Nonuplets I'm sure everyone will agree with me when I say puppies are the cutest. Now watch this mama dog give birth to nine puppies. Giving birth to one baby is painful enough, but nine babies all at the same time? That mother was surely exhausted. But even after pushing out six pups on her own and having the remaining three through cesarean section, the new mother is still nursing them and taking care of them. The puppies are born completely different from their mother. Where the mother has white skin, all nine of her puppies are born with black, inheriting their father's color. <laughs> Poitou Babies a year ago, a Poitou donkey on a farmhouse was ready to give birth after a gestation period of almost 12 months. The workers on the farm were there to assist the soon-to-be mother. The foal was having trouble coming out of her mother's womb. As the workers pulled the foal, it was finally out into the world. It sure had been hard for the mother donkey, but as soon as she sees her foal, she grooms it. The baby is born completely covered with hair but its shade is darker than its mother. This foal was also able to walk right after birth. The mother will now feed the foal for about four to six months, according to its needs. Twin Moose Foal Look how this brave moose is giving birth to its twin calves. She's been carrying the calves for about eight months now. She tends to her first calf, then stands up again as she's going into labor once more. As soon as both calves are out, she takes a breath of rest and lets them get familiar with her. Then, it's time to feed the calves. These calves have reddish fur that will change into brown after about two and a half months, and they'll be looking like their mother. Breach Baby 
Last year at the Wild Rhino Sanctuary, a pregnant rhino isolated herself from her herd as she was preparing to go into labor. But as her labor started, she struggled. The keepers couldn't understand at first, but then noticed that the rhino was having a breech baby, but she seemed to know her way around it. Thankfully, it was a successful delivery without any complications. This baby rhino with gray skin looks very different from its mother, but will change its color depending on the land it grazes on. Baby Vampire This female bat has been pregnant for about five months, and now it's time to deliver the pup! After a long time of just hanging and getting into hammock positions to catch the newborn, she pushes just the head of the baby out and grooms it. As soon as the pup is out, she keeps it in her wings. The newborn is very tiny, hairless, and completely dependent on her mother. She cleans up and then feeds the newborn. The new mother will stay with the camp for five months of lactation. Naked Mole Rat Unlike other mammals who isolate themselves during birth, this queen in this naked mole rat colony spends more time in the nest around her guards and nannies. As soon as the labor starts, the workers in the colony help the queen. She delivers a litter of 26 healthy babies. Unlike its adults, the newborns are completely hairless except for whiskers but they're already able to walk several hours after birth. The newborns are looked after by the entire colony. They'll now nurse from the queen for about a month. Weddell Furball This Weddell seal was captured exhibiting clear signs of labor in Antarctica. Her belly was huge while carrying the baby for over nine months. She lied down on the sea ice to prepare to go into labor. The actual birth is really fast, it takes less than five minutes for the seal to push its baby out. Unlike other Antarctic mammals, whose newborns are practically naked with no hair, newborn seals are completely covered in thick fur to keep them warm. The Weddell seal pups are nursed for just 45 days, but they become triple their birth weight during this period. Panda Triplets We've already seen a panda giving birth, but a couple years back, a miracle panda birth was captured in a safari park in China. This panda has been pregnant with triplets for about four months. She chooses to give birth at night, and she delivers three tiny, hairless, and blind babies. Pandas are capable of taking care of just one cub, so they abandon the others in the wild. But in captivity, the other two cubs will be looked after by the staff. They were named as miracle pandas because this is the only panda triplets who have survived all over the world. Baby Orca this orca, pregnant for 17 months, is held captive at SeaWorld in Texas. And now she's ready to deliver the baby. But it's also bittersweet as it marks the end of an era for the park's orca breeding program. The baby orcas come out of their mother's womb tail first. It has very soft skin and appears black and peachy orange. They're able to swim as soon as they're born, but they're highly dependent on their mother for the first few years of life. Like other mammals, mother orcas produce milk, and the newborn will feed from their mother for one to two years. This duo was later released into the ocean due to the increasing concern over welfare of captive orcas. This picture features a baby that appears human cradled in the arms of a gibbon. This moment was captured a few years back during the birth of a gibbon at Chester Zoo in England, resulting in a seemingly human-like appearance from behind. While this might initially mislead viewers into thinking it's an extraordinary occurrence, in reality, newborn gibbons naturally exhibit this appearance, naked and hairless, just like humans. But as time passes, the infant develops a thick coat of hair just like its parents. Due to the close genetic resemblance between gibbons and humans, the hairless newborns may cause confusion. However, a different perspective from the front would swiftly dispel any notion of a resemblance to humans. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.